Today we're going to talk about vine weevil control with nematodes. First of all, an introduction to the pest. Most people have already heard of vine weevil, um, and uh, a lot of the time we see it really doing most damage in containerized plants. This bucket had some strawberries growing in it last year, um, and throughout the autumn and the winter, the larval stage of the vine weevil has been busy munching away at the roots, and in the spring, lo and behold, dead plant. So if we have a look in the compost, um, I think there's, uh, there's definitely a few larvae still around in here. So I'll just, uh, just show you one of those. So you can see these white uh, larvae here which have been eating those roots. So this is what we want to kill. This is the stage that we can um, attack with nematodes. Now some people have, uh, have already heard of nematodes but they're just uh, as a refresher they're microscopic worms which can enter into soft-bodied insects like these larval stages of the vine weevil through the breathing holes that, uh, that the, the insects have on the side of their bodies. Um, this is how you receive them. This is a pack of five million and they were uh, delivered by post and they have a, a use by date on them there uh, 28th of April uh, and between receipt and using them they need to be kept in the fridge um, otherwise they'll uh, start to lose their efficacy so what we've got here is I'm using an applicator here this is an, a nice easy device to use it gives you a a 2% solution of nematodes. So reading the instructions of this uh, and the instructions for the nematodes we can uh, usually we try to apply these at a, around half a million per square meter. So what we'll do today as per the instructions is mix these up with the, uh, the right amount of water to cover um, uh, 10 square meters which will be 400 millilitres in here um, and then we'll apply them so we just tip it straight into the water here we don't mix it into the uh, you can just see these actually you can see how they come we don't mix it straight into the uh, device itself so we'll get those in the water there and just dissolve them technical stick here so we'll just dissolve those in the 400 millilitres of water and it's really important to make sure whilst you're using these if you're if you're doing anything on a larger scale um, that you continually agitate the mixture to ensure that there's always nematodes being applied because they do have a um, do have a habit of settling out in the bottom of the container so they look like they're nicely mixed so we'll transfer that into the application device And it's important if you're using any kind of uh, spraying device that you remove filters before you start applying nematodes because you can reduce the number of nematodes getting through to the plants because they'll just get clogged up in the filters. So we've got our nematodes in the applicator, plugged it into the hose and we're ready to go. Now um, obviously this device makes life a lot easier to put these nematodes on. Um, it's delivering a, a constant concentration of 2% so you know you're always putting the nematodes on evenly. Now the other way to do it, the low tech method, is just to use a watering can and if you do it by that method you just need to follow the instructions on the package when you buy the nematodes. Okay so one thing to bear in mind is that uh, these organisms need a film of water to swim in. So what we do, or what I recommend you do, is um, just wet the surface of your, your compost or your potting media, whatever it is, before you put the nematodes on. So if you just wet the, wet the compost, we won't do that one because they're already dead. And, um, and then, as I say, it makes it much, more e uh, much easier for the nematodes to actually penetrate into the compost and find those vine larvae. So now we can turn it round 
into the nematode setting here and as I was saying before we have to keep agitating it all the time to make sure we're always delivering a constant supply of nematodes and again if you're using a watering can and you have to stop and move around the garden just make sure you give it a good stir before you start reapplying. So we've now moved on to the nematode setting so we'll just apply these liberally and again what you can do is you can then move it onto the plain water and just give it another good soaking to make sure those nematodes are, are penetrating down into the soil where they can go looking for those those vine weevil. So um, this species of, of nematode that we're using here is called Steinonema krausii. Now that's specifically to target um, vine weevil larvae and it's also very suited to using in cooler conditions. So these kind of spring temperatures that we've got uh, these will actually work down to 5 degrees centigrade but they'll also be happy even if the temperature goes up to 30 so it's an ideal nematode to use in our climate. So as I say it, it's pretty straightforward just bear in mind that uh, you need to use the right product for the right situation make sure you calculate how many you need this uh, product needs to be applied at half a million per square meter so calculate the area of, of pots or bed that you need to treat uh, and buy the uh, buy the uh, the right amount and then uh, just make sure it's applied evenly okay well that's pretty straightforward and I hope that's been of uh, that's been interesting for you and I'll come back at some point with some more hints and tips on using biocontrol instead of chemicals